In this video, we're going to talk about setting up a staging site for your website. But before we get there, I want to tell you a little story. One time at work, my website said that there was a plugin update. So I clicked the update button. The screen went white like it always does, and the little spinning thing was going, and 20 minutes later, it wasn't back. A few minutes later, my boss came into the office and said, Hey, the whole website's down. What's going on? And I didn't have an answer. I didn't know what happened. It was a terrible feeling. A staging server would have saved me that pain. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set one up for yourself. Now, a staging server is basically just an exact copy of your live site. And you can do things on it, like test it and update plugins, without risking your live site. We're looking here at GoDaddy, but most reputable WordPress hosts offer staging servers. If you're on a host that doesn't, you can build your own. I've done it because I'm a huge nerd. But most people just want to get on with building their website. So for those people, a staging server system is wonderful. I'm looking at my live site on GoDaddy right now, and it says I have two updates. And I could simply click Update All. But even if everything goes great, for 10 or 15 seconds while it's updating, the site is down. So I want a staging server. And right down here on the right, I'm looking at Production. I can choose Staging. And it says you haven't created a staging site. Create staging site. So I'm going to click that big green button. And now I have the option to clone from production or start from scratch. Starting from scratch doesn't really help very much. Cloning from production gets me an exact copy. That's what I want. So I'm going to click create. And now it's actually doing the work. It can take a little time depending on how big your website is. If you have a large database or many, many files, it can take 15 or 20 minutes sometimes to set up a brand new staging server. Through the magic of editing, I'm going to make it so that you don't have to sit here during the whole time while my staging server is set up. Now the staging server is complete. Under these three dots, I can go to WP Admin or remove it. And here I can go to WP Admin. I'm going to click WP Admin. Now this site is completely identical to the other site in every way. It's just running on a different server. And note, right here at the top, it says, note, this is a staging site. That helps you know that you're working on your staging site and not your live site. So now, I'm going to go over to my updates. And it looks like I have three, actually. So I'm going to update my plugins. And there we are. It worked great. But now, my staging server is newer than my live server. So now we go back to our panel and we go to sync options and we can push staging to production. If instead we wanted to revert what we just did, we could pull production down to staging. And here we have the option to overwrite content. Almost never do you want to do that. If you're pulling production to staging, actually you might want to do it fairly often because you want your staging to be exactly like production. But if you're pushing staging to production, you don't want to overwrite your latest content because somebody probably wrote a blog post yesterday and would come yelling at you if you overwrote it. So I'm going to push staging to production and I'm going to click sync. And there it skipped right from 60% done directly back to the production admin page here. And now if we click on settings, it says you're all up to date. At no point did I actually push the update button on my production site. I updated the staging server and pushed all of the changes to live. So to reiterate, what we did is create a site that was an exact clone of my live site. Then I did my updates there and then pushed those updates from staging to live. If something had gone wrong on staging, I could have taken all the time I needed to fix it without worrying about my live site being down. And in fact, I could even have started over with staging, just pushing live back over to staging again. 
Updating your site this way can bring an enormous amount of peace of mind, especially if you're making money from your website. If you have an e-commerce store, all the time that you're down is time that people are not buying things from you. You really can't afford to have downtime with an e-commerce site. So staging is especially important in that case. If your host doesn't provide a staging server for you, I'd suggest looking around and seeing if you can find one that does.